10 signs she's wasting your time. Guys, stop acting like your time is not precious. I'm sick and tired of men just literally kneeling at women that are wasting their time. And I want you to really understand that if you treat yourself of value, you will find value. And I want you, especially all those good men out there, especially all those men, men that click subscribe on this channel and I've worked with, I know you were investing in real change. And this is why it is so important that I put a video together like this for you. So let's get into it. But before we do, if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to subscribe. My name is Apollonia Puente. I'm a dating relationship and attraction coach and life coach for you men to really master your attraction skills and confidence overall in every area of your life. Now, sign number one that this woman is wasting your time. She does not know what she wants. She might be going back and forth. I don't know if I want a relationship. I don't know. And is really kind of giving you the ring around a rosy when you are kind of focused and you're on a mission. And you know what you want. And she's back and forth, back and forth. And maybe this has been going on for too long. That's your first sign. Number two is she continues to tell you she is dating other men once you guys start connecting, guys. Okay, there's a difference between maybe going on one date and she's like, yeah, I'm dating other men. But once you guys are still connect, starting to connect, maybe sex is happening, maybe more emotional intimacy is happening, and she still continues to tell you she's dating other men, then she's probably not the girl that is really ready to settle down. Number three is she does not reach out or plans dates or ideas with you. Guys, this is significant. If you haven't seen my video yet about testing woman's standards, I'm going to put it down below in the description box, and I'll put it up here on one of these cards as well for you to check out this video next because this is what I talk about. A woman that is interested in you will plan dates, will ask to see you, will ask or give you ideas on what she wants to do next. So if a woman is not doing this, she's actually not serious about you. Sign number four is she messages you when she wants something only, when it's in her best interest or when she just wants attention. And this goes along with sign number one a lot. So if she's messaging you only when she wants something, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you to gauge your enthusiasm about this woman, sit back, and actually say no from time to time if you find yourself in this type of predicament often with women. Sign number five is she just wants to see what happens. So are we getting to know each other for the purpose of seeing where this can go? Are we getting together to see the purpose of a future together? What is the common goal and why are we dating? Why are we sleeping with each other? Why are we taking this woman out on dates? Is it just because she's just here to go on dates with you and just to see what happens. Here's the thing, is I get going with the flow and pacing, that's completely different here, guys. This is not what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about when you guys are actually been engaged for a while. Maybe a month or two have gone on and she's still coming up with, let's just see what happens. And you guys have been actively involved in each other, but we're, what's going on here? What is the purpose of the both of you seeing each other? That's the real question. Sign number six is she asks for help way too often and you give it to her. So basically, she asks for possibly money. She asks for um, things from you. She asks for your help in certain things like business. But this is all that she's coming to you for. She's actually romantically not doing anything else. Sign number seven is she is still in a relationship or marriage. Oh, 99.9% .9 of my coaching sessions that men reach out to me with a woman that is still in a relationship or marriage becomes toxic and they lose themselves fighting for this relationship with this other woman when she's already in a relationship. How can someone close, open a new chapter? How can someone open a new chapter when a closed chapter hasn't even been closed? that she wants to close or that you want her to close. So if someone is wanting to be with you, they have to close their chapter in order to open up a new one with you. And what happens is, sign number seven is if, again, is she's in a relationship or a marriage. And what happens is you're 
enabling her to make a decision if you're giving her relationship benefits while she's already in a relationship with someone else and you now you're giving her relationship benefits of you. That's number one, you're enabling her. So she's not going to make a decision because you're already giving her the secret ingredient. Number two is you're not putting yourself of value. Who dates somebody already in a marriage in a relationship that finds value in themselves? Here's the thing. There's been plenty of relationships that have actually succeeded when someone, they found each other and they were in a marriage or a relationship. I can tell you that, that it's actually happened. Does it happen often? No. But here's the, the secret sauce. Here's the secret ingredient. They close that chapter before they enter a new one with each other. Side number eight is she always consistently, guys, keyword, consistently cancels on you. Here's the thing. Things happen. People get sick. People have a bad day. Something happens with a dog. Something happens with a family member. Something happens with a friend. Something happens like she forgot. So people do cancel from time to time because things come up. But if she's always consistently canceling with you, especially last minute, that is a sign right there. Number nine is she always brings her friends around when you guys are together. Ooh, that's a bad sign. You never really have a long time with her. Number 10 is her words, okay? And actions don't align. Man, if I had $10 or even $5, or even $1 for every time that I saw a man or woman, doesn't even matter, focus more on words and actions, I'd be a multi-billionaire. Because of the fact that we hang on as, as people, as humans, it is so much easier to hang on to words because we give the words emotion. But we need to start paying attention to someone's actions because once we start paying attention to someone's actions, we validate that with emotion. And that's how we can make a clear, conscious decision if this woman is right for you. I want you guys to understand, lastly, that if you find yourself settling for women, I want it to stop and it's going to stop right now. I have something that is going to help you and I want you to take it further with me. I have a free, absolutely free 10 minute video for you to watch by clicking this link below that is going to help you have that confident mindset and really really embrace the qualities that women find irresistible and attractive so you can really get that woman you want and stop settling and stop being used or stop taking being feeling like you're being taken advantage of or even stop wasting your time with the wrong women. It is time you, you right there in that lens, you start dating quality women good women and seeing the potential of what you deserve. So click that video link below, which you can't find on YouTube and only here. Click that video link below. It's time for you to stop wasting your time and start investing your time in the right thing. The first step is going to be here with me. Click that link below and I'll see you in that video. And as always, welcome your comments, questions, concerns below. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.